Jakub Kulik dla Fansportu jest z nami Norman Park. Norman, welcome to Poland. Hello again. <laughs> uh, how's going? How do you feel? I feel fine, yeah, no problem. Just same old, you know, people up on stage talking shit to each other uh, before a fight. So it's kind of like the new go-to thing before fights: talk shit and then punch each other in the face. So. But but you like it because uh, always we saw you you doing the same you you put pressure on your opponents. Yeah, I don't need the I don't need to talk shit to put pressure on them. I I, I can put pressure on them with my stamina, uh, my experience, my good uh, good at taking a punch in the face and good at giving it. That's how I can uh, put pressure on my opponents. I don't need to talk smack to them. It just happens to be that I like to you know talk smack sometimes, but. I don't need to. I can just go in there, say nothing, shake hands, and fight. But I'm happy that I fight MMA this time because I haven't fought MMA for two years. So I'm excited to fight my sport, not none of this boxing bullshit, stand-up boxing. My game's MMA. You know that's my passion. So, and plus, since my last fight was with Gamrot, so I'm hungry to put damage on someone, on Popic. Yeah, it, it will be it will be great fight, but uh, uh, it's uh, something new for you because uh, Popek is uh, heavier than you. Do you have game plan for that? Yeah, he's heavier, but I trained with heavier guys before. It's not really, but in all honesty, I don't. It's no big problem for me. You know, I you have people saying this in your ear. Oh, but you need to watch this and watch that. See, these people, fuck these people. These people just try to put doubt in your mind. So I just silence them. Uh, I don't even just fuck them off, you know, and I do what I need to do. I always do my thing and I always will do my thing and we'll see once come the fight next week after after I win the fight. Maybe I'll take some smacks on the face before I get the job done. <laughs> I can do that. I can I can take shit, a shit happens. I can take a beat and, and keep coming, you know, but we'll see. We will see when the fight comes. I'll be the one with my hand raised. 100 percent One way or another I will find a way to beat Popek. It uh, in your game plan will be uh, also grappling and some takedowns. Yeah, yeah, I like to grapple. Yep. Yeah. Um, of course, I'm going to use everything. This is what the fight is. People think it's just a stand-up. Are you going to stand and bang with Popic? Well, if maybe uh, Popic won the stand and bang rules, no problem. But this is MMA. I'm going to shoot for his legs. Of course, I'm going to make him work. I'm not going to just wait for Popic to get tired because. People always say something. Oh yeah, yeah. Everyone knew Pobic was going to get tired, and you're going to beat him. They're always going to say something just to downgrade when you win the fight, you know. But I'm not stupid. I will make him work and make him tired. That's what I'll do. I'll, I'll force him into grappling. I'll force him uh, everything. Kicks and uh, to the body. Kicks to the body. Kicks to the knees. Calf kicks. Calf kicks is very good for Pobic. I think will be perfect. Yeah, and I need to just be careful with the big crazy punches. And if he wants to grapple with me or try to take me down, no problem, I don't mind scrambling. I can scramble to get back to the feet. But the more he does this, the more his uh, battery gets lower. I know this, but if Popic keeps it up for three rounds, it'll be a good fight. You said uh, you would like to fight also with uh, with Pollock. Uh, I just do this for a joke. I This wouldn't be a fight. Two minutes, this fight would be over. So it don't make sense. I just say this because... I know they're going back and forth, and this guy's uh, Ferrari, his opponents, meant they have an injury, and they don't believe that injury's real or whatever. But and then they agree to the fight, and then the Polak like, changes the rules, and then I'm like, right, man, you're fighting a guy who has got uh, an injury. Yeah. Fight, just fight him, and then you have the rematch. But they keep changing the rules. I, they do this for drama, also. <laughs> but this I is, think this so. How it's based on drama, also. But I get it. I think in your career you have also a uh, couple of injuries before fights because yeah. always it's... Oh, my knees, man, I had COVID, fuck's sake, I had COVID four weeks ago and even after training since before COVID, uh, before I was ready to come to the first press conference, uh, I was I was in form, I was ready to fight, no problem. My stamina was good and then once I got COVID I was in bed for nine days and I, once I come back training, fuck, my recovery after the first training session was four days before I could even train again. Then I trained again, three days recovery, and then I trained again, and then I trained two sessions together uh, in the morning and in the evening, and I had to rest for three days. But I slowly, my stamina is back to where 
it needs to be. And plus, once the fight comes, I just switch on. You don't think about anything else. Oh, my knee hurts, my... Uh, oh, I don't feel like my stamina's good. Fucking fight, that's it. You just fucking pull your uh, groin guard on, pull your fucking shorts and put your gum shield in. Many fighters go in to have lots of shit that happens to them before fights. Uh, dodgy fingers, dodgy... I always had a problem with my knees before fights. Lots of my fights in UFC, I had dodgy knees. Couldn't grapple for right before the fight, so you just got to adapt and go because once you fight and you're like, fuck, this is it. You got to switch the light on, and, uh, the light switch on, and go. This is how I feel it's going to go. So you said your your stamina after COVID is is, is okay, yeah? You're happy yeah, about it? Never affected my lungs much, you know, but my recovery after session, you know, like my joints and back, fuck my back. It was very sore, very very painful. Behind my knees was very sore. And uh, but my lungs were I never got affected by my lungs or my breathing. Thank fuck this never happened because lots of people had that problem. But I never had that problem, so uh, thank fuck. <laughs> but I noticed after every training session was longer recovery. And even even if I train tomorrow hard session, I will need to recover for three days. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, so on. Sorry, so now I just go light, you know, light and just keep my body just nice level. Uh, just a few days left uh, before uh, before your fights. Uh, how it will be look like? This fight? Yeah, this, this last week, how would how well, look I like? Just yeah. do light training session, nothing hard, just nice break of sweat. Just keep lungs, you know, opened up, keep my, just keep blood the blood flowing. I'm not going to, today actually I did some sprints because I trained hard Monday, Tuesday, very hard wrestling, very hard striking, Monday, Tuesday. I rest at Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I came here on Friday, so today I did uh, a salt bike, you know. I just did like some sprints, open up my lungs. And uh, so Monday I'll just do light boxing, light boxing and just stretching. That's all I'll do all week, light stretching and boxing. I know my body inside, how it, how it operates, you know. I don't need someone to say, yeah, you do this, do that. I know how to operate the body, you know. Yeah, okay. Uh, wish you good luck. I hope we will see. So, thank you very much. interesting fight, you know. I never really got to say too much about the fight with Bobby, but it's interesting. As everyone thinks his big punch is going to uh, be the damage, but what, what happens when I suck all the punches, then what? What else, I, you know, I respect him, I do like him, he's cool, we spoke out the back, I says after a fight we can smoke a joint, <laughs> I don't smoke weed for one month, I'm stopped for one month, <laughs> and uh, no problem, he says, no problem, but out of respect, there's no bad blood. No, no, how, how, uh, uh, what does Popic bring to the table, punch and par, dangerous for one round, maybe now, maybe two rounds maximum, but I've got everything. Everything is on my side. I I believe in my ability to win the fight. I don't care if he's a big guy, like his size. No problem, bro. I once the bell goes, <laughs> let's go, man. We're we're going to go. It's going to be a good fight. It will be. And gold teeth. <laughs> yeah, I know I'll take some smacks to the to the head, but there's fuck all in there. <laughs> <laughs> you have right. Okay, thank you very much. Thank Cheers, you for the interview. Cheers and good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah.